everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. I'm out today to try and chillax in the woods. Um, let's talk about the weather, it's probably about 6 or 7 degrees, so it's not overly hot but there isn't really any wind today so far, so that's making it feel a lot better. You might hear some noise in the background, it sounds like thunder, but it's not. It's because I'm next to the Municipal Recycling Centre, so it's quite noisy with that in the background. But it is what it is, what are you going to do about it? The sky does look a bit ominous, it's a bit grey-white colour. Um, there's no sign of the, the blue sky or the sun, obviously, so I'm going to set up the tarp, just something really simple. Um, just in case it, it does rain, so let's get cracking, guys. Right, there we go guys, 
I'm happy with that, even though I've set up right in front of this tree branch. Um, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I want a nice view out to the woods. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry about the, the noise of the municipal dump and the reversing light all the time, but um, I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to try and ignore it. Um, yeah, it sounds like you can also hear there's quite a few parakeets around. Um, they're quite noisy, <laughs> but they're nice. So, okay, let's uh, try and get the inside a bit more comfortable for chillaxing and uh, we'll think about lunch. That's nice. So yeah, fairly basic today guys. Just a quick lean to shelter in case it rains. Um, it is kind of spitting a bit, but I don't know, it feels like it's more moisture in there than actual rain. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set up this wee table. I don't know why, because it's still going to be in the ground, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to set up the wee table and I brought my chair, so yeah, totally luxurious setup today guys, as you can see. Um, every single time I use this table, it perplexes me with how to set it up because I forget every single time how to set it up, which is silly. But anyway... We'll do what we can. Let me think. Yeah, they go. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> but it's just because I don't use it very often, that's all. It's not complicated at all. It's just that I don't use it very often, so. When you don't use your gear very often, you get out of the you get out of the way of what to do here and there. So I think that bit goes in there like that. Yeah. I think that goes like that and like that. I'm sure there is a really easy way to do this. You know that way. But I'm damned if I know it. Right, put that one in there. And then hold on to the actual table. There we go. It's actually not that difficult, really, guys. It's just me. Anyway. <laughs> so I just want to say, um, while I'm thinking about it, a really quick thank you to everybody that's new that's subscribed to my channel i'm so pleased really really chuffed with the progress really chuffed with all the new subscribers and that we're over 1000 finally guys yay um so yeah i am super 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 chuffed and excited about that um so there's the table all set up so we'll set that down here i did bring a wee sit spot just in case um, for later on if I want to have a wee quick sit down on the ground but um, yes today I brought the chair to save my back um, it is quite cold and um, I do want to heat some water up for lunch um, so there is quite a lot of fallen wood round about here which looks fairly good again this was the spot I came to before a um, couple of weeks back so and not far also from the spot where I set up that really really rainy tarp day so yeah but I don't remember that noise in the background the last time so I don't know anyway right let's get um, stove prepped and set up for lunch guys right cool I sorted the tarp a wee bit, just so it's a wee bit higher at the top. 
Uh, I'm on a bit of a downhill here. There you go. What is it up with that? Oh, that's weird. Something wrong with the chair, which we'll need to fix. There we go. Kind of popped out. Right. Um, so this is my free soldier, my free soldier 3x3 tarp, I've got two tarps, I've got the free soldier 3x3 and I've got the DD tarp 3x3, um, my DD tarp's quite old now, well it's certainly older than this one. Um, and thanks again um, Neil for your tip about bleaching my um, stove bag which is what I did and uh, it came up great it came up nice and clean uh, there's, a, there's a couple of wee marks on it but nothing too bad so really pleased with that thanks guys <laughs> um, I'm going to have to set this stove up a wee bit further away from me because as usual I really don't want the sparks um, going I really don't want the sparks going on this tarp so I will need to set it up a wee bit further away Just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit downhill over there. Right, I know you can't see me, sorry guys, I'm over here. Covered in soot already. Right, we need to get some wood, so let's do that next. And see what we can find. I do feel like I do feel like I really need a really good bushcraft knife. Um, I mean, I've got a wee garden axe thing, but it's not really that sharp, and I'm not all that keen on carrying an axe or working with an axe. Just because, you know, it's quite easy to injure yourself if you're not careful. But these um, Mora knives, and and this is the this is the the better the better one. Um, they're still not great for splitting wood. They're not really strong enough for that. It's not like a a good full tang blade and all that. So yeah, they're not great. They're all right for feathering sticks and things, but. They're not really designed for splitting firewood, I don't think. Um, not that I'm splitting firewood every day in my life, but yeah, I think it would be good to have a really good bushcraft knife. I was thinking about getting the new Beavercraft one that's been advertised, but yeah, it's like 50 quid. So I don't know. <laughs> I can't really justify it, can I? But anyway, if any of you guys have got good recommendations for a good bushcraft knife that's not like you know bare grills 
hatchet type thing, then um, leave me a leave me a thought. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments, guys. If you've got recommendations for knives, and I'll look into them. But meanwhile, let's go and find some wood. Right, hopefully that's enough. It's not a lot, but there's plenty of dry stuff over there that I can go and get. But I can see the minute I've sat down again that the stove's still on a complete hill, which is not great. Um, so I need to try and, definitely need to try and level it out a bit. I think. is the next wee task I believe nothing fancy today guys I'm just having some noodles um, and I might have a coffee so I need to get some water and stuff set up for that well, actually, I don't need the water for the noodles because I'm going to do them in the canteen cup. I've got my BC Beef Mark II kit with me um, and I'm going to use that for cooking the noodles. Um, I brought this because it's also got the canteen cup, a plastic cup, so I can use that to make my hot chocolate and coffee later. But first of all, let's get this ready. There we go. That's it. So they're ready. Right, we we'll definitely need to fix the stove.
it over here again and see how that looks. Well, that's a bit bare. Um, okay, let's get the fire set up. Let's take advantage of the fact that it's not raining yet. Okay, right, that's lots of those wee twiggies in. What I've got is some, I saw a tip on another guy's channel. Um, so yeah, JJ, is it JJ Outdoors? Justin, anyway, JJ, I'm using your tip. So as well as the stuff that I foraged, I'm going to use these coffee sticks, it's really dry, tinder, and just to cheat even more, I'm going to use a fire lighter. I got these as an alternative to the fire dragons because they're cheaper um, and they're individually wrapped so they don't smell in your bag or anything, which is great, but we'll see what it's like because I reckon they're probably going to be quite smelly. Um, so let's get the fire on the go, guys. It's actually so so nice that there's not that wind today it's one of the first days that there's been hardly any wind it's been so windy and so cold with the wind and the temperature's been low so yeah it's not been great for getting outdoors right i've stuck a few of them in and now i'm going to stick this one in and see how we get on Oh, it would be nice to get a heat, if possible. Yeah, they do smell a lot. They are just like those paraffin fire lighters or whatever you call them. So yeah, they're very smelly. Right, there we go. Let's see how we get on with that. Better get my water before it starts melting in that fire. Yeah, a bit of moisture in there. Definitely a bit of moisture in there. What time is it anyway? Quarter past two. Not bad, guys. Not bad.
Right, let's go and get a fork and a spoon. And some wee bitty bits of wood over. Yeah, this wet wood's really, really, really struggling to get going. So, we'll see. I do have another fire lighter, but I don't want to put that on because I want to save that to heat up some water for the hot, the coffee later. Uh, you know, if I don't manage to keep the fire going. Might need a tiny bit more water for the noodles. Just a wee splash. It's certainly trying, but it's really, really, really struggling. Really struggling to get going. There's no smoke without fire. <laughs> As they say, but yeah, this you can see is the problem here, guys. Even that wood that's standing up, i.e. the fallen over wood that's resting off the ground, it's still wet. There's, it's just, you know, difficult. It is boiling. <laughs> it is coming to a boil, which is good. So let's give them another stir. Yeah, that thicker one that I, definitely that thicker one that I sawed down is a lot better. It's a lot drier than those other ones. Which is good.
it's coming to a really fast boil now but i'm just trying to kind of boil off some of the the water obviously just because i put in a wee bit too much nice and for a wee bit of protein i have a wee 20 gram block of cheese i'm gonna put that in it I'm just going to take it off that boil for a minute. This old falling down log is actually really useful. Didn't need a table after all. Cheesy chicken super noodles guys, absolutely lovely. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch and uh, I'll bring you back later. Let's measure some water for coffee. I don't think I need too much. About 170 ml it said. Difficult to know how much that is. Oh, it tells you on the outside. What does that say? Oh no, that's just keep away from fires, blah blah. Well, we'll go with that much. Well, I ball it, it's probably about 200 ml, who knows? It's only a cup full or a mug full. That looks good enough. Yeah, I think that'll be plenty. I think it'll be plenty. Question is, can I get it on on top of these sticks? Probably not. Right, we need to try and reorganize the sticks somehow that works I've got a wee corner I think that'll be enough it's actually quite nice the wee fire
you know, you are getting a, a heat off it, which is lovely. Lovely. Okay. Today I have a hot chocolate sachet and a wee instant coffee to put in it. So that is what we are going to have. Seems to have quietened down at the recycling centre, which is good. Quietened down for a wee minute, which is good. It's nicer. Sugar. My fault. My fault. And that's what I get for trying to burn my rubbish. But anyway, I saved it in time. <laughs> I lost a lot of water, but I better put another wee bit in. Just in case I did lose it. Again. That was silly. Right, okay, I think that kettle's boiled. So I probably should hold on to the cup. I'm just putting a small bit in first and I'm gonna give it a stir. So that it doesn't go all lumpy. Right, I think we've got all of that. Don't want it too watery. There we go. Yeah, that, that other wood's definitely better. It burns for a lot longer as well, so it's probably a harder wood. Anyway, there we go. Cheers, guys. Wow, oh, boiling. Boiling hot, lovely. I did have to go and saw down another couple of bits of it though. So I might have to do that again. It's just really great to get outdoors guys. And you, you know, you just give your mind that freedom to not think about things. And I, I find that when you come out to do these wee camp setups. That's what happens. Your mind's 
actually focused on the physicality of what you're doing. Um, that it doesn't think it and your body tries to go into flow with what you're doing, the physicality of what you're doing. So it's definitely a different part of your brain that you're using, I think. And you're connecting with that ancient sense of, you know, being human. And that's really what life's about, isn't it, guys? Humanity. Being kind to you, to everyone. One of the other things that I was thinking about investing in, apart from the bushcraft knife, is the silky saw. I've just got that wee cheap pruning saw and it's okay, but it's not really great for thicker bits of wood. I mean, sawing even just those wee tiny, you know, they're only about that diameter. Even sawing them, it was a lot of hard work. Not that I mind the hard work, it's just at the time it takes you and then it means trying to get even thicker bits would be difficult. Plus there's no point in me trying to get thicker bits when I can't really crack them, you know, break them down. I can't process them down to smaller pieces um, without a, a decent bushcraft knife. So yeah, I was thinking I'll get, I'll probably get the F-180, that's the one I've been looking at. I did want the 240 Gone Boy, but can't seem to find that anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of getting the F-180. I don't want the Pocket Boy because I think it's too small. It's not like I'm, you know, lightweight camping, backpacking, and I'm not taking it out every single trip and all that. So. I think the F-180, you know, is good from that point of view. But yeah, let me know what you think about folding saws, guys. What one do you recommend? What do you use? What a lovely day. I mean, the really great thing about coming out, you know, in the winter is there's no bugs, there's no midges at all. So yes, it, it when you've got a wee fire to get a wee heat off it, that is absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, just a nice hot lunch and a nice hot drink and a heat by the fire and you really can't ask more than that, guys. Great day out.
thanks again for watching my channel and thanks again to all my subscribers old and new if you're watching this video and you've not clicked that button yet think about subscribing and help boost my channel it doesn't cost you anything it's absolutely free it means that you can get notified when i upload new content and i have got a lot of content on there guys i'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun